Mark Allen and Joe Perry will play the second match this afternoon. One. Perfect pop, Cuba just drifting on and on. Chachan, one. Not a very easy escape back to bulk here for Luca Purcell's safety shot. The Reds on the right side of the table there, they're all. You can get to them all, but to hit one thin. Pretty good shot, this one. Covered up a number of reds. You can pop these. I mean, it's very difficult. A situation where a defensive shot is probably more difficult than the pot itself. Well, that is just fantastic. I mean, it really is. Sublime queuing, that one. One. Rainbow. Well, in a roundabout way, it might give him a chance to take this frame. It was such a great pot. Goodness me. Most of those long range shots are screw shots, but that was powerful topspin. Could exchange this one in safety. Yeah, it's not easy. Just trying to glance off that right hand reg. Take the cable up, maybe behind the yellow and green, perhaps. He's played it nicely. I think that I said it before this, but the, you know, the standard of safety play right now in 2022 is best is the best it's ever been in snooker. Now, all of the players, even the attacking players, have got good all round games, good defensive games. Which you have to have. That's a big bounce here. Here's an example of the Q speed. I was speaking about earlier with Judd. Now, not the classic technique, but the way that uh, he generates speed through the cue, through the ball, all the spin. That last shot was made to look easy. Very difficult. Six. Just so instinctive, he sees everything immediately. Of course, he's been playing from a very young age. Eleven. From literally sort of five years old. He's been playing Q Sports. And had a lot of early Twelve. success. He won the English under-15 national title when he was just ten. When he got to 14, he was certainly good enough to be a professional. But back then, the rules were that you had to be 16 or over. So he spent two years almost in limbo, just waiting to get to 16. 18. Nineteen. He's very happy with that shot. I can only think he must have played on the black. I believe the pink will go, but it's not full pocket. I mean, if he was right behind it, he would knock this in. <laughs> the camera never 
the lies and see that it was possible. 25. Twenty-six. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we could play. We'll get everything open around the pink and black spot here. And he's played on the loose frame. That's a great shot, actually. Much better than the one that 30. I suggested. Thirty-one. The lead is building, and the ball's becoming more awkward, and that's against Luca Brussel. Thirty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-four. Forty-five. Fifty-one. Just a couple of balls away, a couple of reds away here from securing a three-one lead. Shot from 51. Didn't sound the best contact, this. No, and uh, if there was to have been a kick of any description, usually the ball would throw off. Yeah, he went big, didn't he? he tried to pot the more difficult red, move the other red. So One. Brussel with it all to do. So it's only 34 so far today. So everything really needs to improve from his perspective. Pot success, 80%. These are all stats that need to go up soon in the next frame. This is frame ball for 3-1. Six. Shot Nineteen. Nineteen in the frame. So Judge Trump moved a step closer to the quarter-final match this evening. Luca Purcell, as I say, needs to improve in all areas. Trump leads 3-1. One. Yes, it just felt as if Luca was uh, his spirit had been Four. dampened a little bit by the way that that last frame was going, and the re rack might just help him because you know, he's in this match still at three one down, but he probably needs a confidence boosting break, win a frame quickly, and get himself back on track. And of course. That is very possible here. Twelve. It's not the pot, it's just getting onto a colour I think he's most worried about. Thirteen. Well, that's, uh, okay, he had to hold it quite gently to not finish on the left cushion for the black. Twenty. Now the next shot is not going to be much fun if he takes this thin black on her. Get the feeling he'd like to. No, this is not an easy one by any means. Oh. Pretty good. 28.
29. Well, he's not enjoying complete control of the cue ball today. I think that last shot underlined that it's been a continuing trend all afternoon. <laughs> More of the same. Oh, no, surely not. Well, he, he's drifted 34. past the yellow and he's got to play this long red now. Back to his chair ever so quickly there, wasn't he? Not de not delighted with the way things are going. This is difficult. These reds are far enough apart to be very missable. Really good shot. One. As you can see from that, a long way between them. Blue ball. But blue stays out. That's it's not over yet for Brussel. He's got to keep his self belief here because he's not been put away there. One. Eight. Nine. Yeah, again, it's just gone a bit awkward. Sixteen. Story of the day. Look at Brazil. Not lighten 16. the mood. Again, the chance to play the recovery shot, which stays up. One. Well, uh, hard to say that he would clear up from here. Look at where all the balls are at the other end of the table, the, the colours. But you, you'd also think that he could get very much back into the frame. Eight. Nine. Yes, he's going to want to get the blue on his spot here. Quite important, that, I think. So, already, you, you look at where the yellow is. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Well, the arrow on the black, he's not allowing him to get close to either red. Not right behind it very easily. Oh, I'm trying to jump, jump, make you will across the table. I think he used a little bit of right-hand running side. Just took his eye off the pot, perhaps, but it was the positional reason. I think that he, he missed the pot in the end. A little bit of running side on that cue ball. So Brazil needs the two reds here. One. Been a real scramble this frame. But the Nine. red goes in, so it's looking like 3 2. And Brussel, the body language has not been good. He's looked really annoyed with things, but he's still in this match. He's got closer at 3 2. Trump's form from the early part of the match has just gone away a little bit. 14. Two snookers needed. Look at Brazil. 
14. Yeah, I think he's tempted to play on because of uh, where some of the balls are on the table here. The, the worst for trying to get snookers. And conceded. Didn't get the snooker. Down five. And has conceded the front. So Luca Bussell is still in there fighting, despite not at his best today. This match is not done yet. Judd Trump's lead is reduced to 3 2. Before that last frame, that he should win this match, but he's not through yet. So he's looking to get back into the flow again and get the match won. One. We look to see whether the pink went. Pinged it in beautifully. Certainly a confidence boost at that opening red Seven. there. Eight. He may well be able to get through to the red down by the black. You have to nudge into the black though, that's unavoidable if he plays it. He's stretching. 15. Lots of reason to think that he mightn't execute the shot perfectly. Kind of been the story of the match. You know, he played a pretty good shot there, and the black's gone in the general direction of the right corner, but it's become unpotable. So that's a bit of a pity for what looked a promising start to the frame for Judd. Judd Trump, sixteen. Same sort of look on his face, another one just stays out. One. Maybe with a bit of screw in my hand reverse side there, took the cue ball down the table from the cushion. Well, he could go into them, but he's not always enjoyed the best of things happen in his favour when he's done that in this match. Neither was Luca, to be honest. Any luck this time? Amazing, isn't it? You know, they're just not really spreading for either player. 18. He played that perfectly well, I thought. Oh, slight worry, I think, for Judd, thinking, well, I keep getting to the point of getting the match won. Well, that might help, although I don't think you've got that colour again. Shot Trump, 19. Foul, and a miss. He is hanging on, though, Luca. That's all he's doing at the moment.
yellow just could be in the way of the pot. But I've done a little bit of sinking feeling there, knowing that there's a chance this red is potable directly. Now if this goes in, he gets on a high value colour, say the blue, all of a sudden, a totally different story, this frame. It must be tight, though. It must be tight. You see, you kind of flick a little bit of right-hand side on those, and against the nap of the cloth. If you play it gently, it starts to go the other way. That's what he may have done. It was too close to call as to whether it potted. One. That's one. one. Yeah, as you would say, nil sand and cement treatment. Yeah, I mean, he's using the experience there. There's no obvious way out of this. Interesting, this might end up going back, Probably you know. Touch on. I think if I were Judd, I'd be thinking, well, if he's going to do that shot again, put it back, providing you try the same shot. Yeah, I mean, he played it initially very, very quickly. Table. Well, I think all things considered to be delighted with that result and of what was a nasty snooker that it was in. Well, it's going with the, the safety shot again. As I say, Luca Baselli somehow in this match still against all the odds really. Even this frame he's still there. Yes, 44 behind, but the balls are favourable. If only, you know, he can pop one, break free. Now he's looking at a four ball plant. Goodness me. Wow. One. Well, he played that, and then he had a good look at it. And I don't want to be Judd Trump on his next shot, because he's going to be in the same trouble. So it's well worked. Luca Brazil. One. Yeah. It might be the chance of laying up to a red this time. but as he's fully aware he has left a red which has still got to be potted might be able to play on the blue one Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty two. Now he's got the angle here, he wants to be able to shift the top red of the two, I think. And possibly lay on the other one, land on the other one. Oh, that's alright, that's, that's as good as anything. Moving that red, as I mentioned. I think he'd have tried to hit it full ball. 30. It's a thin one. To the middle. Uh, 
31. Oh, the next shot's very big if he's got an angle. If he's got an angle. Yeah, I think he could get in behind this red. With a little bit of power on this. Perfect. He just brushed the red, but he still played it well. Look at Brazil. He complained about the position offside. He couldn't have been any better on that red, but uh, as you see, just caught the right hand jaw. It's never in. What a chance he's missed there. Yeah, he was smiling, but it was. Uh, he's not happy, clearly. Oh, nice little nudge. That got him in a snooker, just nudged the brown. One-handed. Which of course Mark Williams does that shot one-handed. I'll, I'll never understand it. And uh, I don't think that shot has enhanced the prospects of other players playing it either. Because it might be his last shot. One. Don't try it at home. Play conventionally. Every shot now feels big. Trump on this black. Already six in front. Eight. That's not bad, Dave. That really could be... The shot just landed behind the green. Ten. I think there's no doubt he's played the better snooker. It's become a bit of an ordeal, frankly, trying to get over this winning line. Brissell had a great chance, didn't he, on that last red. He'd done a lot of the hard work. He got on the red, missed it. Seventeen. So the defending champion... He's into the quarter-final this evening. Luca Brasell, I don't think he's going to look back with too much fondness on this match. Not least because even though he struggled, he did in the end have a chance to force a decider. But it's Judd Trump, the defending champion of champions, who goes through to the quarter-finals this evening. He's beaten Luca Bissell by four frames to two and we'll speak to him live after the break.